Welcome back everybody to another episode of Howell Farms where today we are back out here at our little hunting spot behind my parents house. Uh, this was used to be a sunflower patch we planted but our rabbits ate it all up. So today I'm going to show you how we planted it in brown top millet. Well, first thing we always like to do with our food plots, anything we like to plant, corn, fields, anything, we want to burn down everything that was there. We had actually planted some sunflowers here. Uh, you can go check the link above. It's a little sunflower patch video. This is behind my parents' house. I tried to get her some sunflowers for my mom to view, but our rabbits ate it all up. So the grass was here that had come up instead of the sunflower. So I burned it all down with some glyph glyphosate, which I actually used a racer because that's what my co-op had. They didn't have the actual just glyphosate labeled product, but eraser is the same thing. So we used that and we sprayed it down. Now, the previous times we've used glyphosate, I guess the concentrate wasn't good enough and I never really got a good burn down. This time it killed it dead. As you can see right here in this little clip, before I dissed it up, this stuff was brown. So from now on, I'm gonna be using the eraser product, period. I liked it, it did a wonderful job on this ground, and that's what we're gonna use. So after I sprayed it, I let this ground go a good week. I wanted that glyphosate to kill it all. I didn't want any risk of being like our other food plot that we planted. It's got a lot of grass in it, but that's because I don't think I mixed it right. <clears throat> and when I sprayed it, it just didn't kill everything. So this one was good and brown. Like I said, we waited a week, and after the week, we came over here and dissed it up. So we dissed it up today. Now, I didn't disc it up a ton. This ground's already pretty loose. I just wanted to get the grass knocked down so my seed could get dirt contact and get covered up. So once we ran it over a couple times, then it was just time to put the seed in the spreader. And we used our Solo 421 again. If you guys haven't seen the video on that one, I'll link it above. I did a good review on this product. It's the best spreader you can probably buy for hand spreading stuff. But we used it today, we put our seed in it. And this is just regular brown top millet. I got it from my co-op. They'd actually just got it in the day I bought it. And the guy was like, man, I'm so glad you came today because if you'd have came yesterday, we wouldn't have had it. So I'd pick that up, put it in the spreader. We spread about, I think about 10 pounds out here. That's a 10 pound spreader and I filled it up. So let's just say 10 pounds in this little spot. And after that guys, we just dissed it over. Now, I hate to say we lightly disked. There's no way to set the level on this tractor. So I just dissed back over it. That's the dog barking, just ignore that. So I just dissed back over it. Some spots is probably a little deeper than it should be. Some spots is probably not deep as it should be. But from my experience using a disc and a tractor, it's gonna work pretty good. So we just dissed it back up. We got some rain coming today, so hopefully it'll get covered up and it'll get rained on, we ought to be good to go. If you guys want to see more about this field though, go ahead and click that subscribe button down there and ring the little bell and get it to notify you every time we print, every time we produce a video and we post a video, it will notify you and let you know it's on, uh, live. So there you have it guys. It's easy to plant brown top millet from what I understand. The biggest problem is killing all the grass and we have managed to do that really well. So. You guys stay tuned for another uh, update video on this uh, brown top millet. We'll keep y'all posted. Until next time, I'll see you on the farm. <laughs>